What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free add-on that can help you make your lighting from your HDRI images inside of Blender more realistic. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the big drawbacks to working with HDRI images inside of Eevee is that the shadows are not cast on the ground when you add the HDRI image. And so you know by default, Eevee only adds shadows based on light objects that are in your scene. So for example, right now with this HDRI image, if I was to rotate it, notice how the lighting in the scene changes, but shadows aren't being cast based on the lights in this scene, right? Now there are things you can do with like an irradiance volume and other things like that. But one of the simplest ways to do this would be to just add a light, right? So for example, if I was to do a shift A and add a sunlight like this, you can see how that sunlight, which is an artificial light, is gonna cast shadows in my scene. So you can start seeing those on the walls, other things like that. Well, the problem with that though is now, if I have the sunlight in here, but then I rotate the HDRI image, notice how it's not affecting the lighting in the scene at all. So what we need is we need a sun or a light like this that's linked to the brightest point of our HDRI image. Well, there's an add-on that allows you to do this. It's called the HDRI Sun Aligner add-on, which you could download for free from the author's GitHub page right here. I will link to this in the notes down below. But basically the way that this works is you download this and then you install it like you would any add-on and you're going to enable the HDRI Sun Aligner add-on. Well then what that's gonna do is now, if we were to tap the N key, and go over and look for the HDRI Sun Aligner tab over here. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna pop up a little menu that basically allows you to calculate your sun position, then link your sun to your HDRI image. So for example, if I click on the calculate sun position, what that's gonna do is that's gonna take your HDRI image and it's gonna figure out the brightest spot. So if I was to click in here under preview, you can see how what this is gonna do is this is gonna show me where the sun would be in the image. So it goes and finds that automatically. And so what that's gonna allow you to do then is that's gonna allow you to create a sun and link it to the brightest point of the scene. So there's a button down here for add new sun. So notice how what add new sun does is it adds a sun inside of your scene and it aligns it to your HDRI image. Well then the other thing you can do, because right now if I move this around, the sun isn't moving, right? But if I was to click on the button for add rotation driver, what that's gonna do is that's gonna link the sun to the HDRI image in the scene. Well now, if I turn this, notice how the lighting and the shadows are moving in your scene along with the HDRI image. So what you can do is you can use this in order to um, basically simulate those, set, those shadows with an artificial sun object inside of Eevee. So this allows you to really quickly add those sun objects. The other thing that it does is it also can be used inside of cycles to enhance your result. So if I was to go into cycles like this, notice how our artificial sun is still gonna be in here, right? And so usually what I would recommend that you do, and obviously I don't have grass in here or anything like that, but usually what I'd recommend that you do is set your sun location in Eevee before you switch over to cycles. But notice how in cycles, if I was to toggle this HDRI sun, on and off. Notice how my lighting is gonna be a lot more pronounced inside of my scene using that sun that's created. So you can use this to create a lot more realistic lighting inside of your scenes using that artificial light. So it can be really, really good for giving you that extra detail inside of your scenes as well. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. I will link to this add-on in the notes down below, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought, if you've used this method, or if you have other methods for making HDRI images look better inside of Blender. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.